50 mm. So first we need to draw the cube of 50 mm. So in isometric, all the lines will be inclined at an angle uh, 30 degree. So let us take the line. Okay. So this is 50 mm is the edge of the cube. Cube means its all sides will be equal. So first take the cube 50 mm and uh, incline at 30 degree angle. Okay. So another side also you draw 50 mm and uh, 180 minus uh, 30, it will be 150. Okay. Similarly, 50. at the rate 30 and join this so this will be the base of the cube okay let us take a light line and show the angle okay Now cube means its height will be 50 mm. So take the line and uh, thickness of 0.5 mm and I will draw 50 mm. Now what you can do is uh, you can move the entire uh, lines, all the lines to this point so that it will become a cube. Okay. So select all the lines, except this one, move this point to this point. So since we have not uh, used the copy command, so it is coming like this. So again select the, all the lines, okay, then uh, use the move command. See, copy must be on. So from here to here, you can go. Okay. So after that, you connect the each edge to the other edge. Okay. So you can only see in the while seeing from the front, only these faces are visible and the, what are the lines this line and this line so these both lines are invisible so here invisible we will not show it as a dotted line invisible we are going to remove it so remove these two lines so this become a this has become a cube now okay so now we have to make a uh, square pyramid for that let us uh, find out the center of the center of the cube top top of the cube. okay so this will be the center of the uh, cube so you want to make a square pyramid of size side 40 mm so at the side we will make the square pyramid and move it to here okay so let us take a line of 0.5 mm. So at the side you take <coughs> the 40 mm and the angle 30 degree. Okay. So this side 40 mm 150 40 mm 30 degree. Then join this okay so this entire thing must be light okay now take the line so this will be the base of the pyramid and find out the center okay this is the center so now these since this is uh, this is a square pyramid its base is resting on top of the cube only these edges must be dark in 
select this dark and select this entire thing. Now we need to place this center onto the center of the cube. So move, Co copy must be off. So we move from this point to this point. So I'm moving this, whatever we have done separately to this. So here also you can try, but it will take uh, some time. Okay, so for that we are going to move it here. Okay, now what is the height of the square pyramid? We have to note, the square pyramid height is given as 70 mm. So take a axis line. Okay, axis line must always be a thin line. From the center, you draw a axis line which is having a 70 mm. Okay, so 70 mm axis we have drawn. So this will be the apex point. So apex point, we need to connect it to the bottom each edge. In pyramid, what happens? The apex edge must be connected to each corner of the base of the pyramid. So let us connect the So we have to take the dark line here. Okay, connect from the top to each edge. Okay, see the last edge will not be visible. So we are not connected that one. And also when you see the pyramid, when it is placed on top of the cube, uh, these two lines will not be visible. These two lines will not be visible. So let us trim those two lines. And also when you place the pyramid on top of the cube, these corners will not also be not visible. Okay. So let us remove these uh, what are the uh, construction lines. So now this has become a your isometric view. Okay, if you want, you can do the damage. Actually, dimensioning is not required. So, if you want, then only you can specify the damage. Okay, this is the isometric view. Thank you.